First week on the job and Donald Trump's top economic advisor is turning down the temperature on his boss's tough talk. Nothing's happened. Nothing's been executed. I read about how evidence. There's no there there yet, but there will be. Trump's $100 billion threat is just that, a statement, not an order, strategic bluster, perhaps. But the Chinese are taking it seriously, promising today to fight back quickly and decisively. U.S. farmers are especially scared of what that could mean. They depend on Chinese markets. Republican Senator from Nebraska Ben Sass said if he's half serious, this is nuts, calling Trump's plan the dumbest possible way to deal with China. Democrats were equally blunt. There are smart ways of negotiating and there are stupid ways of negotiating. You don't want to put yourself in the position of having to basically uh, lose, lose your credibility if you have to back down. But being tough on China was a key theme of the president's election campaign. And some believe it's the only way to solve legitimate grievances, such as Chinese companies stealing trade secrets from American competitors. You can't have free trade with a country that cheats and steals. To put Trump's threat in perspective, it's right in line with another unexpected pronouncement this week, the hastily organized plan to put National Guard troops on the border with Mexico. Both plans appeal to the president's base, and both have left officials to brace for the consequences. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Washington.